right? So now for our module two, solving systems of linear equation, the existence and uniqueness of solutions, right? So one of the most significant implications of the rank over matrix is the number of solutions to the system of linear equations it represents. <coughs> right? So consider the following systems of linear equation. Now. <coughs> this system of equations may be represented by the matrix um, equation. So this is the re representation of the matrix equation. No? So, uh, okay, so maunya nga to ang mga systems of linear equations. You have the x minus 2y plus 3z plus 5 and so on. All right, so from the theorem of Roshi Capilli, now, a system of linear equations with n variables has solution or solutions if and only if the rank of its coefficient matrix, say A, is equal to the rank of its augmented matrix A. Right? So, if rank A, this is the matrix A, no, is not equal, no, not equal to the rank of its augmented matrix, the system of equation has no solution. Meaning, Dili ni ni mo siya masolve. Right? If rank A, is, this is, no? Um, if rank of A is equal, this is equal. Walang alamin. If rank of A, rank of A is equal to rank of augmented matrix A and also equal to the n, no? this n is the number of variables or number of unknowns, the system has one solution. Okay, from the example, if the hang rank ani is three, <laughs> rank in the maximum rank of augment, uh, three by four matrix, it's the uh, augmented matrix is a three by four matrix. Now, the hang unknown is, if equal the sa yang unknown, three, the system has one unique solution. And if rank A, is equal to the rank of augmented matrix A, but ang ilahang anong is not equal, no? I mean, the number the number of variable is not equal to the rank of the matrix. The system has infinitely many solutions. Tagan na kayong contact sa kwa sa kwaan ba? Ano to? Ano ba? Dagang kakontak sa messenger kay nag-quiz mi sa kong pika section niya. Ang deadline is 1 p.m. So good pa ka pila ka days. Yeah, close na. Dagang na mag-chat. Alright, so the coefficient metric is given by now. We have 1, so 1, 1, negative 2, and 3. We have negative 1, 4, 2, 2, 1, and negative 1. So, mauna siya ang representation sa kanina system of linear equations. Mauna niya representation sa matrix. And the augmented, augmented matrix is given by, ito lang i-augment ang iya. This 5, 3, 4. Okay, so mauna niya representation sa matrix. Now, taking the determinant of A along the top row, Meaning, dito mo pa yung no? So, 1. So, cancel siya, Dre. Cancel. This is the determinant of A, not a ilalay ka ng augmented matrix A. Okay. So, pa yung vote, Dre. Cancel ni siya. So, we have 4, 2, 1, and negative 1. In paggamit na sa calculator, no? Yan ang solve sa determinant. Sa calculator, say, wow na ito ang determinant ni A. Three by three matrix, one. So we have one, one, negative two, 
Kung na mo i-calcule dyan, no, mas okay na mag-soon-soon mo para makuha ninyo. Familiar ninyo yung calculator. Ang araw ba ni ang kanin siyang uh, model sa calculator karo na gamitin niyo para board exam. Okay. So, we have 1, negative 2, 3. Negative 1, 4, 2, and 2, 1, negative 1. Right? So, shift matrix. Determinant number 7 of determinant of matrix A. Okay? So, equal. So, we have negative 39. Okay? <coughs> Pero, kung mano-mano, actually, kanin sa problem nila example. Pero, sa mukha, hindi ko ano yung napagi. Ay, dubli pa ba? Ay, apakang minus 3. Pero, kamo, kung dalian mo, ano? Okay, rapod. Kung dali ko, mas dalian. Augment ni hapon ni siya nga matrix. Ang doha ka row ay augment ni mo. Ah, doha ka column. So, para multiply ka. So, the determinant of A is equal to 1 times 4 times negative 1 plus we have negative 2 times 2 times 2 plus 3 times negative 1 times 1 minus then you have 3, 4, 2. You have 3 times 4 times 2 minus 1 to 1. 1 times 2 times 1 minus negative 2, negative 1, and negative 1. Okay, so the determinant of A is equal to 1 times 4, this is negative 4, this one is negative 8, eight. this one is negative 3, and we have negative 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24, and we have minus 2 plus this is 2. So cancel, we have 24. 32 to 7. So the determinant of A is negative 12, negative 15, minus 24 is negative 13. So yung ano lang siya. Right? Now, sa so itong previous topic na rank of a matrix. So therefore, since ang iyahang rank is not 0 sa matrix A, therefore, iyahang rank is 3. Now, the coefficient matrix A contains a 3 by 3 submatrix. In this case, the matrix A itself, right? With a non-zero determinant. Therefore, its rank is 3. Now, since the augmented matrix A contains the submatrix A, no? its rank must also be 3. Yang submatrix is 3 by 3. Sa so, to, ang submatrix niya is katong least common. I mean, the uh, submatrix niya ay katong Sunod nga square matrix. So since ang iyahang square matrix is this one. Okay? And the rank niya is 3 gya po. Therefore, ang rank ng augmented matrix is, I mean, yung determinant na is negative 39, which is not 0. Therefore, yung rank po sa augmented matrix is 3. Ang sa tayo sa theorem, if rank of A, this one, is equal to the rank of its augmented matrix, and the number of non hence okay, hence rank A is equal to ra the rank of augmented matrix B. So the system of equation has solution or solutions. Moreover, the rank of A, matrix A, is equal to the n variable. Now, the number of variables in the system, and therefore, the system has one unique solution. Right? One unique solution. Pasabot, <coughs> must solve na to ang value ni x y and z okay ang target nato ani is isolve nato ang value ni x y and z okay it is worth noting here that we can save time in finding the rank of the augmented matrix if we can show that it is at most equal to the rank of the coefficient matrix so di nata magsolve no di nata magsolve sa rank sa augmented matrix kaya yung square matrix nga available is nag-contain naman ang determinant na dili zero. This is this easily, easily shown, right? 
since the coefficient matrix A is itself, which is also a submatrix of the augmented matrix, any submatrix of A is also a submatrix of augmented matrix B. Thus, any square submatrix of A with an unzero determinant will also be a submatrix of the augmented matrix A. Therefore, the rank of augmented matrix is at least equal to the rank of A, right? So, okay, so theory. Now, the rank of the augmented matrix AB of a system of linear equation is equal to or greater than the rank of the coefficient matrix. So, greater than or uh, equal to or greater than. So, on some of the case. Now, if ever, can you determine the uh, coefficient matrix is zero? So, magkuha kag o sub o square sub matrix, which is the 2 by 2. So, and then, yung determinant na, ana is daily zero. So, therefore, yung rank is 2. Now, sa case ni augmented matrix, dagan kay possibility nga 3 by 3 matrix. Okay? So, therefore, na possibility nga yung determinant ani nga matrix is 3. Uh, no, not 0. So, therefore, yung rank ana could be 3, which is the maximum. Right? So, morning a theorem. That is why yun siya nga. The rank of augmented matrix B is equal, is greater than or equal to. So, pwede siya greater than, pwede pwede equal. Okay? Let's look at an example of how to find the number of solution to a system of linear equations by finding the determinants of the efficient and augmented matrices. And how this strategy, strategy of finding the ranks using determinants greatly speeds up the process of finding the number of solutions to a system of linear equations. Okay, for example, find the number of solutions for the following system of linear equations. So recall the that the Rousseau Gapillier theorem states that a system of linear equation equations has solution or solutions if and only if the rank of its coefficient matrix is equal to the rank of its augmented matrix. Right. So in this case, okay, this is the coefficient matrix now. And the augmented matrix is this one. Okay, pao na to ang determinant. Ani? Um, sa coefficient matrix, pao na to yung determinant. This one. Okay, yung determinant is not zero. <coughs> ah, okay. Yung determinant ay pending the sub matrix right aside. We call the rank of the rows of the largest sub matrix of A is none, has none zero determinant. Check sa nato yung mga nalaktawan po nila. The only 3 by 3 submatrix of the equation of A is A itself. Taking the determinant of A along the top row. Okay. This is the determinant expanding. This is not the, this is determinant of A ra nila yung siya augmented matrix. Okay. Okay, check. 1, 2, 3. Okay. 11. Okay, so nasayat na. So the, the, the determinant of A is 15, 16. Okay. We have found a 3 by 3 submatrix of the coefficient matrix A is, in this case, A itself with a non zero determinant. Therefore, the rank of A is 3 since the limited matrix okay, is a 3 by 4 matrix. Its rank is at most 3. So equal sila. Hence, we have. Rank A equal to the rank of augmented matrix B, IA, and the variables is equal to N. No? We have three unknown variables, which is equal to the number of ranks. The number of N variables is equal to three. The rank of the matrix A is equal to three. Therefore, okay, the system of equations has one solution. Pasabot, masolve na to ang value ni X, Y, and Z. Right? So, nga na yung pasabot. In this one. Find the number. Uh, solution for the following system of linear equations. Okay? We call the capillary theorem. Roche capillary theorem. So, found na to ang determinants. First, kaning sa iyang coefficient matrix. Okay? And iyang augmented matrix, this one. Balik balik lang yan. Okay. Kaninga case, right? So, ang iyang determinant ni coefficient matrix 
natin siya. This is A also. Okay, so zero yung determinant. Now, this is the only possible 3 by 3 submatrix of A which has a determinant of zero. Therefore, its rank cannot be 3. Okay, or oh, A also has no rows or columns that are scalar multiples, no? Kita na to, wala siya row or columns, no? Scalar multiples, so to? Dependent, linearly dependent ng mga rows or columns. Wala, di ba? Okay, wala ba? 27, okay, wala yet. So therefore, its rank, no? Must be 2. Next, we need to find, find the rank of augmented matrix. In this case, no, try na to, since the augmented matrix na siya nilaing possible na 3 by 3, which is this one. Pwede ni siya, 3 by 3. Pwede po, i-combine-combine lang na ninyo sila, basta delete lang kanina competition. Okay? So, try na to. Ang gikuha is negative 19, 17. So, kaning plus 3 ang gikuha. Para kuha na to, determinant. Okay? We therefore seek a 3 by 3 submetrics with an angular determinant. One submetrics of augmented A is, of course, the coefficient matrix. No? Consider in this one. Paano po na to yung determinant? I'm taking the determinant of B by expanding along the top. So, same solution. No? Pariharaan niya solution pagkuha sa determinant. And the determinant is not zero. Therefore, the rank of the augmented matrix is three. Okay, ang satong mas theory kong this one. Pwede siya. Okay, ano yung theory? The rank of augmented matrix A is greater than or equal to the rank of the coefficient matrix A. Okay, so yan na siya. In this case, no, the rank of A is 2. And the rank of the augmented matrix is, the rank of A is 2. The rank of augmented matrix A is 3. So, D equal. Okay? Hence, the rank of A is not equal to the rank of augmented matrix. And by the roshi papini theorem, the system of equation has no solutions. Okay? If makita mo nga nga problem mo, basin diritso na ninyo solve. Diritso ho na ninyo solve ang value ni x, y, and z. Kaya na po tayo introduce later on sa on pag-determine <coughs> sa value ni x, y, z by direct method o iterative method. So before ni mo pa on or before ni mo i-analyze or solve ang value ni x, y, and z, no? mas okay kinahang mas kinahang lang gyud siya no nga i-check sa nato siya if naabay solution no naabay one unique solution or no solution okay and also if many solution so kinahang lang nato i-check okay and this kaning duha kaning last to kinahang lang nato i-avoid if ever, mat, after ni mo ma-determine nga by uh, Roshi Capilli theorem nga ang equation is no solution and mini solution. So pasabot, delete na ito ma-solve ang exact value ni x, y, and z. Right? Okay. In the previous example, the rank of the augmented matrix was greater than the rank of the equation matrix. And we only needed to calculate one 3 by 3 determinant of the augmented matrix to confirm na its rank was 3. However, it may be the case that the rank of an augmented matrix cannot be verified by calculating one determinant. For a 3 by 4 matrix, augmented matrix, like in the previous example, in the worst case scenario, you may need to, the, to take the 3, 3 by 3 determinants. Okay? So, if ever, kani, pagkuha na ito, ani, the 0 gihapon siya, nita na po taglaing combination. Right? Okay, two is saying you. <clears throat> we may need to take three to look cut three by three determinants, right? In addition to the determinant of the three by three coefficient matrix. So, upat tanan ang combinations there. Upat tanan combination niya. Okay? And to avoid this time consuming process, we can use one more theorem. <coughs> okay? The theorem. The rank of a matrix with linearly dependent rows or columns. If an M by N matrix A contains 
a row or column that may be formed from a linear combination of any other rows or columns, then the rank of A is strictly less than the minimum of N and by N. So, it tackle na nato last, no? Okay, in this example, recall that the uh, Roshi Kapilya theorem, okay? So, kanina theorem, then first, next is pauna to yung coefficient matrix and then the augmented matrix. And first, isolve na to ang determinant ani. But before that, okay? Notice also that matrix A has one row that may be formed from a linear combination of the other two. Specifically, row 2 is equal to the sum of row 1 and row 3. Check na to. Si row 2, this row 2, uh, is equal daw na siya sa combination ni row 1 of row 3. Okay, check na to. So we have 12 plus negative 11, 1. 6 plus 14, 20. 20 plus negative 12 is 8. So, makita na to. Nga? Linearly dependence niya. Okay? Since one row is a linear combination of the other two, the rank of A must be less than 3. Okay? So, must be less than 3. Maka, <coughs> counter it again. Ha? So, delete na 3 ang yung rank. We can verify the, this by taking the determinant of the coefficient matrix. Okay? Kung magdadua mo. And that is the only possible 3 by 3 matrix of A, submatrix of A, which has a determinant of 0, therefore the rank of A cannot be 3. A also has no rows or columns that are scalar multiples of each other. Can okay, by scalar multiple? 12 times 6, English, yeah? 6 times so 12. Okay, so delete siya, scalar multiple. So therefore, its rank is, no? therefore its rank must be 2. Next, we find to, uh, we need to find the rank of the augmented matrix. Since it is a 3 by 4 matrix, its rank can be at most the minimum, whichever is the smallest of 3 by 4, 3 and 4. So, na siya ay submatrix na 3. And its yang rank is at most the smallest of 3 and 4, so at most 3. We found that for the coefficient matrix of A, row 2 is equal to the sum of row 1 and row 3. If the same still applies to the augmented matrix, it, its rank also must be less than 3. Okay, check na to. Since sa to ganina, row 1 plus row 3 is equal to row 2. Check na to. 5 times 11 is 16 gihapon. See? Dependent gihapon siya. So look at, looking at the sum of row 1 and row 3, augmented matrix, you can see that this is indeed the case. Therefore, the rank of the augmented matrix, AB, cannot be 3 also. Although unnecessary and time-consuming, this can be verified directly by finding the determinant. <coughs> Mag-listed mo, no? Ang kanin, uh, determinant ani niya. Okay? Dili naman ni ninyo ma-input sa calculator ka wala man ang calculator. Wala siya 3 by 4. Ang calculator. So, yung buhatong pagkuha sa determinant ani is Augment na po ninyo since this is a 3 by 4, 11. Augment na to siya. 14. Doha ra ba ba? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so sakto. Doha ra ba ba ba? Minus this one. Okay. Therefore, the rank of the augmented matrix cannot be 3 also, although unnecessary and time-consuming. So, this can be verified directly by finding the determinant of every other 3 by 3 submatrix. A and B and showing them all to be 0. Next is, since the rank of the augmented matrix must be equal to or greater than the rank of the coefficient matrix, we must have that rank of augmented matrix A is equal to 2. Right? Therefore, the rank of the coefficient matrix is equal to the rank of the augmented matrix. 2 yapon so rank A. No? Rank A is equal to the rank of augmented matrix AB, but not, zato? but not equal to the number of unknown or number of variables. 
Okay? Siya yung dere, since the rank of the coefficient matrix is 2 and is less than the number of variables in the system, which is n equal to 3, the system has infinitely many solutions. Pag nga na ang case, i-avoid na sa nato. Okay? Review na ito ang theorem, capillary theorem, ah, Roche capillary theorem na a system of linear equations with n variables has solution or solutions if and only if the rank of its coefficient matrix A is equal to the rank of its augmented matrix AB. Now, the rank of, if the rank of A is not equal to the rank of its augmented matrix, the system has, the system of equations has no solutions. So, dili ang tamag pa dayo nag-solve pang determine sa value ni X, Y, and Z or unsang nga variables in the input. Okay? And if the rank of A, no? if rank of A is equal to the rank of augmented matrix B and also equal to the number of variables, the system has one unique solution. So, mao na itong pangitaon. And ma-solve na nato ang value ni X, Y, and Z. And ang um, way sa pag-solve ano, is i-discuss na ito later. And if the rank of A, kanina case, no? The rank of A is equal to the rank of augmented matrix B, A. But the number of variables is not equal to the given system. The system has uh, infinitely many solutions. Right? So, you avoid that one. Or, pag makantar na nimo, <coughs> delete nimo, kay infinito, yan ang solution. So, delete ka makakuha exact value. Right? So next, okay, this is first no uh, method in solving systems of linear equations. First is the direct method. In sa direct method, atong itakol is the Gauss elimination and box substitution. Okay, so the Gauss elimination, the Gauss elimination method can be motivated as follows: Consider a linear uh, system that is in triangular form, in full upper triangular form. Okay. Such as this is a full triangular form if ever can you give any equation. Masolve na nato si y. And after masolve na to ang value ni y, input na to the ring. And makuha na to ang value ni x. So this is the example of uh, nasolve kini siya ng equation. If isolve na to siya using uh, Gauss elimination and box substitution, kani atong makuha. And, uh, kani atong makama. And makuha na nato ang value ni y and x. And triangular means that all the non-zero entries of the corresponding coefficient matrix lie above the diagonal and form an upside down uh, 90 degree triangle. Then we can solve the system by box substitution. That is, we solve the last equation for the variable y. So, kanisya, y negative 26 divided by 13 equal to negative 2 and then work backwards substituting y negative 2 into the first equation and solving it for x. x is equal to 6. <coughs> this gives us the idea of first reducing a general system to a triangular form. For instance, let the, uh, let the given system be so can the system 2x plus 5y plus 2 and negative 4x plus 3y plus 2 negative 30 and it's augmented matrix this one. right? We leave the first equation as it is. We eliminate it from the second equation to get triangular system. So first, we'll use a, this is called the row operations. No? Atong target first is makakuha tao sa tayo triangular matrix. So augmented matrix siya, pero dito na tayo mag-triangle sa dito na mag-triangle sa coefficient matrix. Okay? So we'll conduct a row operations. First na ni target is himo mo ito ni 0. Para mahimo na siyang 0, si negative 4, kinahanglan na ito siya plus 4 para ma-0. Okay? Kanin siyang operation. Row 2 plus 2 times row 1 padulong sa row 2. Okay? Check na ito nga. Pila si row 2. Kaning element, negative 4 plus 2 times same nang gihapon niya nga column, no? Kung sa, sa row 1, same nga kulong sa row 2 kung sa itong kuha element. So we have negative 4 
plus 2 times kung saan ang elements are 1, 2 gihapon. So therefore, equal to 0. Mau niya itong ibutang, dire. Okay, so 0. Next, mau niya po itong buhatong dire sa, okay, row 2 plus 2 times row 1, 2 row 2. So we have 3, 3 plus 2 times 5, equal to 13. Right, 13. Next, we have negative 30. Negative 30 plus, plus 2 times 2. And we get negative 26. Okay? Then, ato da siyang negative 26. Then, ato da siyang E. Balik sa system of mission. So, that is 2 plus 5Y equal to 2. And we have 13Y equal to negative 26. Mau ni siya ang nasa babawa. And then it's, uh, come up na ka ni, makuha na ni mong isa ka value. No? So why? This is equal to negative 2. Then, i-substitute na ito dito. Makuha na ito ang value. Yes. So, yung na lang siya. Okay, this is the Gauss elimination for two equations in two unknowns. Giving the triangular form from which box substitution now yields and y is equal to negative 2 and x equal to 6. <coughs> right? So, since a linear system is completely determined by its augmented matrix, the Gauss elimination can be done by merely considering the matrices as we have just indicated. We don't we do this again in the next example, emphasizing the matrices by writing them first and the equations behind them, just as a help in order to lose not to lose track. The first solution by Gauss elimination no? is one, so you augment that on the augmented matrix. So we have no. Yang coefficient ni x is 1, coefficient ni 4y is 4, coefficient ni z is 1 and 7. So, ito na siyang augmented. Next, first na ito yung 0 is si 1. Para mahimo ni siyang 0, isubtract na ito si row 2 minus ang row 1. Okay? Row 2, ang operation na ito, row 2 minus row 1 to row 2. So, pasabot, row 2 ang mausab. Okay? 1 minus 1 is 0. Copy rin. Ang katong dili mausab, which is 0, 1 of 0, 3, copy rin natin siya direct. So, okay? This one. So, wala na usab 0, 1 of 0, 3. Okay, copy rin natin siya direct. So, ang mausab, 0, 2 lang. Then, natin i-perform ang operation. So, row 2 minus row 1 is uh, 2 row 2. So, we have 1 minus 1 is 0. Sa roto na tayo butang. 6 minus 4, 2. Okay? Negative 1 uh, minus 1, negative 2. And 13 minus 7 is 6. Okay? So next na ito himong 0 is si 2. Okay? Nangita na po tag operations na applicable. Pero operations. So we have para mat, uh, 0 ni siya. So kaya na yung since si roto is na 0 na, no? Pwede na yung siya i-avoid para din yung mausab. Pwede na po dili, no? Hindi lang, basta ang, ang row operations is ikaw ang magbuot. Okay? Ikaw ang magbuot para na ma-zero lang ninyo mo ang kanin triangular. And makakam up kag triangular form, upper triangular form ka na. Meaning, ang nasa iyang ubos is zero tanan. So, kanin man ang nasa ubos, yung mong tunin zero tanan. Okay, so first si 1 at ang gimong 0, next si 2. Okay, so sa row operation niya, copy na ito siya, same, same lang ni sila. Ani? Okay, so row 3, atong operations is row 3 minus 2 times row 1, padulong sa row 3. Okay, 2 minus 2 times 1 is 0. Okay, so next, para di mo maglibo, gamitan yung part. 1 minus 2. 2 times ila element sa 1, babaw, row 1, 4. So, we have negative 9. Okay? Next is 2. Times negative so, uh, 2 minus 2 times 1 is 0. So, 0. And we have 5 minus 2 times 7 is equal to negative 9. Okay? So, next natin mong 0 is si 9 na side. Para ma-0 na siya. Okay. 
Ang gibuhat is 2 times rho 3 plus 9 times rho 2. 2 rho 3. Okay? So, next. 2 times rho 3. So, we have 2 times rho 3. So, may naasa rho 3. Rho 3 is 0. 2 times rho 3 is 0 plus 9 times rho 2 plus 9 times rho 2 is 0 gapon. So, 0 to gapon sa rho 3. And then, we have negative 9. Negative 9 equal to 3. Now, 2 times negative 9 plus 9 times 2 times negative 9 plus 9 times 2. So, 0. Yeah. Oh, mano na. Diba? Okay, zero. And then, zero. Zero. Zero na siya. Zero na. Two times zero. Zero. Plus nine times negative two. Negative two. Okay, negative 18. Okay, and same lang yapo. Negative na. Two times negative nine. 18 plus 9 times 17. So, that is equal to 36. And then, okay, nakuha na nato ang upper triangular form. This one, upper triangular form. So, so siya yung solve. Back substitution rin ta. So, we have the coefficient for the first equation. We have x plus 4y no? plus z equal to 7. And we have 2y minus 2z equal to 6 and we have negative 18 of z to 36. So z, so first na to masolve, this is z that is equal to 36 over negative 18. So z is equal to negative 2. Next is we have y, no? since na is value ni z to y equal to 2 times negative 2 equal to 6. So y is equal to 6 minus 4 over 2. So, y is equal to 1. Right? So, substitute din ang doon. Therefore, si x plus y is 1 minus, uh, plus negative 2 equal to 7. And x is equal to ila. 7 plus 2 is 9 minus 4, 5. Right? So, yung hanap lang siya pag-solve. With 2, 1, and 5. Okay? Mona siya ang IT, uh, the, uh, direct method. Gauss elimination and box substitution. Daghan pa kayo siya. Ways. Daghan pa kayo ways. Na pa pero yung chillin form nga. Kanita nang himuon ni mong 0 po ni siya dire. Then 1 na ni siya dire. Tanan. 1, 1, 1. Okay? Kani. Himuon ni na to siyang 0, 0, 0. And there is 1 na rin tanan. Pag 1. 1, 1, 1. Nain nga na, no? Para direct na rin yung makuha ang value. So, daghan pa kayo kaya siya uh, solution. Pero, ways lang na makabalutan, no? Kung saan ko. And then, ato na siya gamit sa calculator. Naan na siya magamit. Calculator. Mamasolve na ito. So, we have equation number 5. Sa itong gamit ito. Since tulok ka, ano, no? Na x, y, and z. So, itong gamitin is si number 2. Input rin na itong coefficient na. So, first is 1, 4, 1, and 7. And we also have 1, 6, negative 1, and 13. Next is we have 2, negative 1, 2, and 5. So, x, sa so tanasolve na ito ganina, si x is equal to 5, si y is 1, and z is negative 2. Okay? So, yan na lang siya. Easy. 
Okay. Next is for the iterative methods. Okay. So far, we have discussed only direct methods of solution. The common characteristics of this question, this method, is that we compute the solution with affinite number of operations, finite number of operations. Moreover, if the computer were capable of infinite precision, no round off of errors, the solution could be could be exact. Okay. See next. Oh. Iterative or indirect method starts with an initial guess of the solution x, oh, initial guess in x, and then repeatedly improve the solution until the change in x becomes negligible or more converge. Sorry. Because the right and the required number of iterations can be large, the indirect methods are in general slower than their direct counterparts. However, iterative methods do have the following two advantages that make them attractive for certain problems. It is uh, feasible to store only the non-zero elements of the coefficient matrix. This makes it possible to deal with very large matrices that are sparse, no? but not necessarily bundled. In many problems, there is no need to store the coefficient matrix at all. Right? Okay. A serious drawback of iterative methods that they do not always converge to the solution. No lang ni ang drawback niya. Dili always to converge. Ang target nato sa iterative methods is dapat mo converge siya meaning wala na changes or minimum na kayo ang changes minimal na kayo ang changes sa mga solution it can be shown that convergence is guaranteed only if the coefficient matrix is diagonal diagonally dominant okay the initial guess for x it plays no role in determining whether convergence takes place if the procedure converges for one starting vector it would do so for any starting vector. Okay? The initial guess affects only the number of iterations that are required for convergence. Okay? We are required to solve for initial guess. Oh, no. Yeah. Initial guess. So, wala yung magpo. Kung sa yung initial guess. Either 1, or 2, or 0. So, since wala ka kavalo kung sa value ni x. And we all know nga the value of these variables will not be zero. Otherwise, the system is wrong. No? So, delete initial zero, okay? Seven man siya yung equal. Delete initial zero. Delete possible na si x, zero, y, zero, z, zero. So, mo ni ang pinaka-safe na kwa ni mo nga initial guess. Okay? So, the steps and solving systems of linear equations using iteration. So in this topic, we'll use the Jacobi and the Gauss-Seidel methods. Okay, first is arrange the given systems of linear equation in diagonally dominant. Okay, diagonally dominant. Isolate the unknown in each of the equations. Initialize a value for the unknowns of zero. Perform iteration until the value of the unknowns converges. So now, now diagonally dominant. Okay. So, the diagonal ito dominant, meaning, sa imo ang x, dapat siya ang pinaka-dominant sa tulong. Sama ng dominant 3 first, so we have 19 sa x is 19 ang dominant. So, i-rearrange natin siya. 19x minus 13y plus 4z to 1, 1, 1. Next, we have, ang sama ng dominant sa y. Sa so y, ang dominant is si 22. So, ato siya yung iduha. Next is, 4x plus 22y, butang na to siya sa second row, 13z equal to negative 128. Okay, and next, wala na yung mabili no, kanina lang siya, since siya po diha po ng dominant sa z. So, 8x plus 8y plus 17z equal to 10. So, mo niya ang pasabot sa diagonally dominant. Okay, na po yung na. So, dapat si 19 or si 111. Okay, tumunan lang yung dapat na greater than po si 111. Sa sum, anin nilang tulong. Absolute value ng sum. Or si 19, dapat dominant siya anin po. Sana. So, dapat si 19 is greater than the absolute of negative 13 plus 4. Okay, so 13 is 17. Equal to 17. 
So, greater than siya. Si 22, dapat po greater than sa sum ni 4 of 13. So, sum ni 17 ng yapon, kung dako si 22. And this one, si Z, 17, dapat dako po siya sa yung sum sa 8. So, since 17 is greater than absolute value ni 8 plus the absolute value ni 8, 16, 17 is greater than 16. So, diagonally dominant siya. Ingan na siya ng case. Right? And then, after that, sa tingin Isolate the unknown in each of the equations. Isolate. So we have to isolate. First, x. Kanina ng equation na tumbas yan. So x is equal to lang. One hundred eleven transpose nato si negative thirteen. That is plus thirteen y and minus four four z over. 19. And see why? See why we have no? y is equal to negative 1 to 8. We have negative 1 to 8 minus 4x plus 13z over sa tong efficient ni y, 22. And the z is equal to la. You have uh, 10 minus 8x minus 8y over 17. Okay? So, sa iterations, wala na itong iterations. So, sa iterations, we have, no? Say iterations, this is our iterations. And this is the value of x, y, and z. Okay. So first iteration, initial gaze nata is 0, 0, 0. First, 2, 3, 4, 5, pila ka iterations. Okay. Ata kabalo. So first, input nata sa calc 11, 1st we have since this is 0 so first iteration we have y x is equal to 111 plus 13y minus 4z since na the initial uh, guess niya, initial condition 0 this is 0 over 19. So we have first iteration x value, we have 111 divide 19. So we have 5.842 first iteration, 5.842. And for the y, no? this one, ito sa ito sa taglaan nga solution format. Ayan ko na. Sagatan so, natin sa kong solution. Okay, para di ito masigi. Scroll, scroll. Okay. So, next. Y, no? Okay. So, Y. We have Y is equal to negative 1 to 8 minus 4. Initial uh, guess ni x is 0, also the z over 22. So, calculator na ito. So, we have negative 1 to 8 divide 22. First, negative 5.818. Okay, and so z, you know, the z is equal to 10 minus 8 times 0 minus 8 times 0 over 17. So we have 10 divide 17, 0.588. Okay? So after that, no? Sa second iteration, sa second iteration, since na natay bag ng value ni x, y, and z, muna po datong gamitin diri. So next sa x, this is for the second iteration, x. Ano sa to? 111 
okay, we have 111 plus 13. So, na yung value ni y? Since na na tayo, value sa first iteration. Okay? Na? 5.842. We minus 4 times we have 0.588 over 19. So, muna niya itong value ni x sa second iteration. Here you have 111 plus 13 times y. This is not 5.842 no? since this is y. Kanasya is negative 5.818. Okay? Negative 5.818. Okay, y man is sa equation. This one, y. And the z minus 4 times below value ni Z, 0.588 over 19. So for the second iteration, the value of X is 1.737 rather. And for dy, no? The value ni Y, this is equal to Y is equal to negative 1 to 8 minus 4 times the value ni X, 5.42 x battery ki okay, x okay mo na equation now this is our working equations so 4 times value ni x this is jacobi method ah. first this is jacobi method na siya ikalaian sa galsidel method so x is 5.842 it for 2 and plus 13 times 13 is Z, 0.588 over 22. So Y is equal to 128 minus 4 times 5.842 plus 13 times 0.588 divide 22 so 6.533 negative 6.533 and for z you now we have z is equal to 10 minus 8 this is x 5.842 minus 8 times y Y is negative 5.818 over 17. So the Z for the second iteration, we have 10 minus 8.842 minus 8 times negative. This is 10 negative 0.818 divides 17. One, two, five, seven, seven. Five, seven, seven. And for the third iteration, so value mo pa unis ka sa second iteration. Diba? Sa uh, first iteration na to, ang kuha na to mga value sa x and y, x, y, z is kaning zero. And then for the, kaniya to ang initial value, initial guess, mo na to na solve. Si iteration. Sa second iteration, mga to na pong kuha unis value ni x, y, z, Initial is kanina po. Then, pagkuha na to sa iteration, third iteration, ang pangon na itong value ni x, y and z, kanina po. Hantod, no? Hantod mo converge na siya. Sir, ang sama ng convergence. Okay? Use this. Gamitan na itong Excel. Okay? Para dali. Okay? Nga niyo po ang paggamit sa Excel. Ha? Para kabalotanan. No? I hope nga na, na tanaw ang tanan. No? Okay? So, we have the iterations. And the value for x, y, z. Claro ra niyo? Claro ra? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Claro, sir. Okay. 
Okay? Yes, sir. So, ito itong first zero iteration, no? Zero. And we have initial guess na ito, uh, initial condition na ito na X is zero. Y is zero. Z is zero. So, siya ang simple. Right? So, first, ganito na ito ang equation. So, ito ang working equation na ito. No, we have the working equation. There. Okay. So, itong equation na ito. 11. So, first, yung bottom is equal. Then, uh, open parenthesis. So, we have 111 plus 13 times. 13 times. Ano saan siya? 13 times y. Kita niyo? 13 times y siya. So, ama ng y? Dara, y. Okay? Minus 4 times. Times is asterisk. Ha? Times z. Z is this one. Okay? Parenthesis. Para ma-close and para ma-divide na to siya ang whole term. Sa so, babaw, ma-divide na to siya sa 19. And then after that, enter. Okay? So, atong ini gamayan ang, no? Siyang gamayan. Ito ko na lang. Itong i, four decimals lang. Okay? Four decimals. So, next, same. I-input ra na ang equation. So, first, you have negative 1 to 8, no? Minus, minus 4 times, ano siya? 4x, kaning y nga, equation. 4 x among x this one x next is plus 13 times z 13 times z close parenthesis then over divide 22 okay so next we have so z no equal open parenthesis 10 minus 8 times x minus 8 times um, y. So, z, y. Okay? Divide 17. Okay? So, check na ito. No? Sakto ba itong solve? Okay? We have, so, first iteration na to Same mag answer. And sa second iteration after that, inyo rang i-drag. Kay same, na makapira ra din na siya ng formula. I-drag ninyo. So, we have, okay, sakto nga po, 1.7374. So, 738 na to. 0.533 or 5328.77. Okay? So, ang iteration, no? Ano saan? Pasabot ni mo sa mag-merge, sir. Merging. Okay? Drag na to. Ah, muta. Makakita na tag mag uh, Converge. No? Converge. Okay? Dara. No? Kaning last two? Dere. Kung, uh, dere last two, kita ninyo, Converge na siya. Pasabot, wala na yung changes sa ilang value. Kung i-drag pa na nimo sila nila, same rin hapon. Okay? No? So, dire, nag-converge na siya. Muna ang convergence, meaning, wala na yung changes. Pila ka iterations? Tama sa convergence, 32 iterations. So, mauna siya ang Jacobi method. Meaning, kung sa na to pag... Uh, Iterate using Jacobi method. So, muna siya ang convergence. Meaning, ang value ni uh, 2, uh, ni x, value ni x is 2, value ni y is negative 5, and value ni z is 2. Okay? So, muna siya ang question. Apay, question? No? Parenta. Kung ato ni siya ang pagamian of decimal, mas dali ang yung convergence. No? Atong, yung muna itong 3 decimals. Asa siya ni converge. Okay, dere, converge na siya. Okay, sa 26 iteration. Same na sila. And if ato pa yung pagamyan ng decimals, say 2 decimals ta. Okay, ahama ng convergence. So dere, converge na siya. 18 and 19 iterations. Okay, depende rin sa one. Pero, no, pag dagdagan na itong decimals, meaning, gamay minimum ang error. Magkagamay, magkadaghan ng decimals, magkagamay ang error. Mo po na siya advantage sa gamay, gamay of decimals. This is way of approximation no? sa value ni x, y, and z. 
Okay? Sa so, mga siya. Magamit ni siya ni mong iterations. Kung ang imong ano is mabot na butang na to uh, five ano five equations five equation five anons uh, libog na po na no five equation five anons so, magamit ana is direct method kay ang problema ana pag uh, okay ra dagay po ni sa iterations kay x y z meaning if na kay uh, w say we say before sa w v no v so uh, v plus 2 w plus 3x plus y plus z say equal to 10. So, kani siya, lima ka anons, masolve ni siya pag napukay lima ka equation, meaning lima ka systems of linear equation. Magamit ni siya. Dali na kayo ninyo pag solve ani if gamitan ninyo iteration. And since kabalo naman sa paggamit sa Excel, pag bali niya ni sa Excel, dali ra, drag ra din ninyo. Okay? So, muna ang Jacobi methods. So next questions. Is there any discuss that? Okay. Next is to raise padua. Padua. You raised your hand. Dili sa 18 magsugod ang kwan, sir. 18. 18. 18. This one. Napamanggut siya changes of 5.01. Pwede na po, nag-converge na ni sila diri. Yung may lang changes. Ay, 19 day, sir. Oo, oh, 19. Pwede na po sa 18. Converge na siya. Ano lang, no? Sa 18, ang sa 18 mong good, dili pa ka maka-check na ni-converge na siya. Kaya na po may changes sa iyang previous, di ba? 5.01 na pa changes. 5, 5.01 na pa changes. Pag abot ni mo sa 19, this is 18, no? Dili pa ni mo ma-check kung nag-converge na siya. Pag abot ni mo sa 19 iteration, pag check ni mo, same sila sa 18, ka 18 na iteration, pasabot, makonfirm na ni mo. No? Ang 19, mao ang confirmation nga nag-converge na siya. Okay? Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, okay. So, padayin ta sa Gauss Seidel. Same lang yapon na problem. Okay? Kapiyon lang yun atong. Uh, diagonally dominant. No? Diagonally dominant. Right? So you have 19x. Uh, Kanyang nila same equation. No? x, 111, 13y, 4z. x, same problem na itong gamitan. 11 plus 13y minus 4z. 4z over 19 uh, for y for 2 you want to eat 4x 1 to 8 minus 4x plus 13z over 22 over 22 and for z is equal to 10 minus 8x minus 8y 17. Okay. Now, no? Si Jacobi methods, tanan value niya dari may gamiton niya sa first iteration. And tanan value niya nakuha sa first iteration, may mong gamiton sa second iteration. And sa third iteration, tanan value sa second iteration na nakuha, mo po niya gamiton sa third iteration. Ano na siya per me? Okay? Ang kalainan sa Gauss-Seidel method, no? If not, I say we have this is our iterations. Iterations. Zero. We have the x, y, and z. One, two, three, four. So initial, zero, zero, zero. Okay? So first, solve na ito. Sa itong nakuha na itong solve ni x, Kung 0 ang initial, so mara niya 5.842. 5.842. Okay? And for the y, okay? Ganyan siya. Y. So, kapiyo na ito si y. Y equal to negative 1 to 8. Ang diritso gamit ito ni mga value. Kung sa mo na solve mga value ni x, di ba sa Jacobi is kanin tulodungan ni sila. Diritso y. 
x first solve nimong value ni x ng value ni y ug z nga available is kaning 0 karon naka solve na tag value ni x mo na ni itong gamiton sa pag solve sa value ni y no 5.842 plus na pa ba latest available nga value ni z 0 lang yang latest nga available na value okay so mo ni si y over 22 and y is equal to we have negative 128 minus 4 times 5.842 plus 13.0 divide 22. We have negative 6.882. Okay? And since na na tayo latest ng available value ni x and y, hindi mong gamit nun sa z. Ito na, available na ba, uh, latest ng value ni x and y. Since ang equation na ni z is na contain of x and y. So, we have k times 5.842 minus 8 times negative 6.88 over 17. Okay? So, we have 10 minus 8 times 5.842 minus 8 times negative 6.88 no? divide 17. So 1.077. Okay? Sa second iterations, ang gamito na po ni mga value niya, uh, y of z, gamit yung equation ni x. So we have x equal to 111 plus 13 times sa so latest value ni y, we have negative 6.88 minus 4 sa so latest value ni z, 1.07. Okay, and we have divide 19. 111 plus 13 times negative 6.88 minus 4 times 0 0.077 divide 19 equal to 0.908. So, bagong value next, 0 0.908. Okay? And gamit na po na itong value ni x. So, y nga equation, we have negative 1 to 8. Kato na pong bago na 0.908. Okay, 077 over, okay, nga nung ka na mag-isulat yung mga equation ni y. Okay, 13. Saan niya siya? 13. 13 ni z. So may value ni z nga latest. We have 1.077 over 22. Okay. So negative 1 to 8 minus 4 times 0 0.908 plus 13 times 0 0.077 divide 22. So next, right, uh, value ni y for iterations, uh, second iteration, you have negative 5.347 and sa z, no? Balik-balik na ni siya ang process. We have 10 minus 8. Ang salitis nga value ni x, we have 0 0.908. 0 0.908 minus 8 times y. That is value ni y. Negative 5.37. 7 and divided by 17. 10 minus 8 times 0.908. Minus 8 times negative 5.347. Divide 17. 2.677. Okay? 77. So, yun na lang siya. No? So, nila po, pagkuha na po din mo sa third iteration sa value ni 
x. Gamito ni mo ni nga, latest nga value ni y and z. Kung mag-solve ka sa value ni y, gamito ni mo ang latest value ni kaninga x and kaninga z. Okay? Isulod na to siya sa Excel. Oh, but first, announce na to ang calculator. Actually, sa calculator, magamit siya ang Gauss-Seidel. Ang Jacobi, parang dili. No? Langan kay siya. So, we have iteration. Gamitan na to calculate. X, Y, and Z. So, we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. No? Input na to ang Kaya, tanawin nyo saan pag-input ha. Observe. So, gamit ang variable. Since wala tayo variable ni Z, gamit na ito ang M. M atong gamit ito. So, first, we have alpha. Alpha X. Alpha equals. Isulat yun na ito ang equation. Okay? We have 1, 1, 1 plus 13 alpha Y. Minus ang gamit na ito sa Z ha. Kay M. Over 19. Next, the colon. Next, alpha y. We have alpha y. Alpha equals. Actually, we have negative 1, 2, 8. Minus 4 alpha x plus thir uh, 13 alpha m over 22. Next, we have the last equation. Z. M atong gamit. Over 10. Minus 8 times alpha x. Minus 8 times alpha y. Over 17. Okay? So, na-input na nato ang tulog kay equation. So, next is calculate. Ang sang initial value. First, you have 0. Y, 0 si y. Okay? Equals M. Z is 0. So first, you have 5.842. 842 equals sa saka. Y, negative 6.88. 0 sa Z. M, you have 1.077. And equals sa saka. Equals. Kani siya nga value. Girecord na niya ni dayon. Ang latest value ni. Latest value ni. Y. So, mauna ni siya. Equals lang ka. Equals M. Maura niya po. So, next value ni X is 0 0.908. Next, equals lang ito per me. Negative 5.347. Equals 2.677. I-check na ito. Mauna ba ito na solve? Okay, kita na ito, 5.347, 2.677, and 0.908. Okay, negative. So, equal na lang pag ihabong ka. Equal, equal lang yun. Una kay Bhaton. So, we have next value is 1.620 for x. For y, we have negative 4.531. Z, we have 1.958. Dali rin ang gausaydel sa calculator. So next, okay, we have 2.33, 5.085, uh, 0.85, hantol lang din nga mo converge, no? 1.885, okay? So mo lang nga siya equals, equals lang din ka. Ang critical lang, ang vital point lang is ang inyong pag-input sa formula. Right? So gamitan na ito, Excel. Si Gauss-Seidel. Compare na ito. No? Three decimals lang yan itong gamitan. Ay na itong labila. Kung asa na converge. Three decimals. Kaya ito convergence. Na na confirmation na convergence. So sa 26. Ato ni in-delete. Okay. So input na ito siya sa... Okay. So, first, gamit lang sa niya itong control C. Copy lang ka. Makapin na na direct sa equation. Ito lang din. I-ID. Ano sa ito? Sa equation? Latest value. 
So sa x, mo ni first, no? Sa x, mo siya first. Let us value ni y and z is kanin 0, 0. And next, diri, ilisa na to ang latest value ni x. Since yung gamit diri is 0, blue, ilisa na to si blue o oh, this one. Okay? So, negative 6.8 na. And this one, yung latest value ni x and y, ilisa na to. So, x and for y, Okay. Right? So, same here. Control C. Control V. Check na to. It is value ni Y and X ba? Uh, y and Z? Check. It is value ni X of Z? Check. And it is value ni X and Y? Check. Okay? So, drag na to. Asa siya mag-converge. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Uh, convergence mas dali siya mag-converge no si dara ang convergence no converge na siya sa 12 and ang confirmation is 13 okay so mao ni ang confirmation nga converge na and dire sa jacobi is 2 guy okay, check na to tong value sa calculator mao ni value sa calculator tama sa fourth iteration no so first we have 5. Point, no 5.842, negative 6.88, 1.007, 0.908. value sa calculator ni sa, uh, na, sa PDF. 1.620 sa third iteration. We have negative 4.531, So, sakto siya. Okay? Sakto ang gigamit nato sa calculator. Langan lang ang, sa masipiat lang ka sa pagkuhan sa iteration. Okay? So, questions. Now, sir, ang saan mo dahil ng dili mag-converge? Okay? Ang saan niyang rule niya ni? Nga dapat, no? Nga dapat. Saan niya? Sa tungin yun sa steps? Dapat diagonally ito? Diagonally dominant. Okay? Diagonally dominant. Sir, ang saan mo dahil mahita po kung dili diagonally dominant? Try na ito ni example. No? Kuha tayo example na rin. So, try na ito ni siya. Okay. Try na ito. Yung equation na ni, no? Nangyara ni siya. So, saan isulat na yung equation? So, the equation this one is we have x, no? I-rearrange. Saan na ito siya na diagonally dominant. So, sa x, we have 2x, no? 2x minus y plus 2z was to 5. Then next, um, we have 6y x plus 6y minus z plus 2, 13. And next, wala na yung mabilin lain, which is kanina lang x plus 4y. 4y plus z plus 2, 7. Kita ninyo, madili siya diagonally dominant. Diri nga part is dominant siya. Diri is dominant siya. Pag abot diri dili, ang greater is 2. Now, ma-check po na nato nga Dapat si 2x, there is a first equation. Si 2 must be greater than the absolute value of the coefficient, sum of the absolute value of the coefficients, no? Equal to 3. So, delete siya. 2 is not greater than 3. So, delete siya diagonally dominant. Nga na ang pag-check, no? This one, you have 6 is greater than 1 plus absolute value ni negative 1. So, 6 is greater than 2. And this one, we have z is 1, not greater than 5. 4 plus 1, 5. So, delete siya greater than. Delete ni siya diagonally dominant. Okay? Muna yung pinaka um, sure na pag-check kung diagonally dominant ba siya. Okay? So, buhatan to na example. Kapisa na to yung equation. Now, we have x sa x kamit kaning equation kuha na to yang value equation so we have x equal to 5 plus 2y 5 plus na 2y 5 plus y no 5 plus y minus 2z over apit man in a straight
over 2. And for y equation, we have 13 minus x plus z over 6. And the other one, we have z is equal to 7 minus x minus 4y. Okay? Gamitan nato siya Jacobi lang. Jacobi atong gamitan. Okay. So, we have x equal to open parenthesis 5 plus y Minus 2 times z over 2. Right? So we have 2.5. And next is equals to, in parenthesis, 13 minus x. x plus z over 6. Next is equal to. 7 minus x minus 4 times y. Okay. Then ito lakadisimals. Say 4 or 3. 3 lang 3. Center. So, okay. Drag na ito ha. Jacobi ni siya. Okay. Check me mo. Wala yun yung nag-converge. Okay, itong padaka na. Wala yung nag-converge. Lagyo yun kayo siya kung ano. Compare ninyo ano ito. Dugol kayo siya changes. Series of 2, 1.19. Oh, gagmay na kayo siya changes. This one. Muna siya ang itawag nga. Wala ga-converge. Pila na ka iterations. Wala yun yung nag-converge. This one si y nag-converge si y. Pero si x, balik-balik din siya sa iyo. Sa iyo, siya. X, balik-balik. Wala gi fix na convergence. Dere. Si 1, na uh, confirm na si 1 na nag-converge. Dere. But si x and y, uh, x and z, wala gi siya nag-converge. Balik-balik siya. Relay, you know. 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 8181812 
number sa iteration sa confirmation. Okay? Questions? If none, uh, so, okay na, wala na may question. Natay quiz, ha? na na sa inyong sa you step. Quiz number one. So, ang deadline sa quiz number one is Wednesday, 6 p.m. Na mo'y mula ka days pa mag-take sa quiz. If wala na may question, may ask everyone to please turn on their camera for documentation. Sa PIT ha, dapat na mo itong Excel ako require. Minsan ni si Nins. Ano ah, lang yun si... <laughs> Sayaw ka Nins. Nga lang ni Nins. Active kayo si Nins, no? Hangin diya, sir. <laughs> Hangin kayo, there is bura kayo eh. <laughs> Lisa na ito eh. Kayo yung mag... Na-board mo sa bura kayo na. Lisa na ito. Ano na, na off man. Okay? So, nana ko sa Mars, sa moon. Pinsan may si Alad-Ad. Mag-humana itong klase. Ayan pa mo join. <laughs> Ito naman kamera sa uban. Okay na? Sige. In 3, 2, 1. Smile. The quiz ha, will close, no? On Wednesday, 6 p.m. So, if wala na may question, the class is dismissed. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.